here's the gist of Backbow. This is a single-player 2D detective game developed by Eggnut Games and published by Raw Fury. It released early June 2021 for PC and will be out later this year for your standard trio of consoles. You play as Howard Loder, a private eye raccoon in a city of anthropomorphic characters, investigating your usual love affairs, embezzling the cliché PI work, up until you stumble onto a much bigger conspiracy that demands your attention. With the help of companions old and new, you band together to try and expose corruption and the horrors perpetrated by those in charge of this alt-universe Vancouver. In a game as story-driven as this, I'll do my best to not give away any critical plot beats. The game plays fairly simply on controller or KBM. You side-scroll through extremely beautifully detailed pixel art cityscapes, and most of your interaction is done by talking to townsfolk or digging through files and effects in hidden rooms. Your typical noir affair. Con conversations will go drastically differently depending on the tone you take with people. You're able to fully lie your way through some discussions, masking your true intentions to get more information out of someone, or be honest and blunt, which others may take more kindly to. You can also come across as a massive asshole if someone rubs you the wrong way. It's possible to lock yourself out of conversations with some people if you leave a bad impression, either by mistake or completely on purpose, but the game will never stop you from being able to progress the narrative. There are multiple paths you can take to investigate further or sneak into somewhere you've been booted out of. Stealth is done by a crouching and hiding behind props in the map to avoid detection. With some very basic platforming to boot, no infinite pits or spike traps or the like, the 2D gameplay of Backbone is simple but enjoyable nevertheless. The game mechanisms lean much more heavily to the puzzle side of things, both inside and outside of dialogue trees with characters. I will say one thing I appreciated, which isn't always common for this genre of game is dialogue being broken up into small, manageable chunks. When presented with a wall of text, I have trouble processing all of it, so having conversations divided up like this makes things easier on me. The narrative is also rather tidy, being linear with exceptions. You can choose to talk or not talk to certain people, which ways you go about your job, but the game is still pretty much a straight line in terms of its story, delivering you to different districts of dystopian Vancouver. The game will vary based on how you decide to talk to people, but the plot still drives you forward. That's not to say the game is too predictable or boring, quite the opposite. All I'm saying is that the game has a particular story to tell, and your choices in dialogue are meant to be a reflection of how you, the player, feel about what's transpiring. Of course, a game like this is made or broken based on its writing, and I'm happy to say that Backbone's script is excellently written. Without giving away too much, the game delves into themes of classism, racism, and how billionaires make their livings off the labor of people who are forcibly kept in poverty. While using metaphor at times, it's a world of animal people after all, the game never tries to mask its messaging, and it's handled with the careful but firm hand required of a story like this. There's a part later into the game, which I won't go into too much for spoilers sake, when you're talking to various people running a homeless camp in the city, folks just doing their best to stay alive. The honesty and understanding presented in the dialogue showcasing both the good and bad of people with nowhere else to go, it's incredibly refreshing. At times, the plot takes very dark dips and heavy themes, so fair warning when it comes to discussion of murder and drug use. Of course, all this darkness is neatly wrapped together by the breathtaking art style. The game has a beautifully realized aesthetic. I'm very happy to see this newer era of pixel art games that don't hold themselves to technical limitations of retro consoles. 3D effects and dynamic lighting lend to a brilliant neon noir mashup art style. This kind of mishmashing extends to the soundtrack as well, a combination of chiptunes and synths with live instrumentals and occasional soothing vocals. I don't often mention OSTs in my reviews due to how subjective they can be, but the music really rounds out Backbone's vibe. And that brings me to my conclusion. All in all, Backbone is a game I would recommend to anyone who's a fan of the mystery 
and investigation genre, the writing is some of the best I've seen in the style of game. Fans of titles like Disco Elysium or even Night in the Woods may find that itch scratched from backbone. At $25 and around a 5 hour campaign in my experience, some may consider the price a bit steep for the style of game, I may even have said the same in the past. But honestly, after a year of everyone having less money than ever and the price of AAA games starting to rise above an average of $60, indie and smaller studio games are gonna entirely fairly follow suit. Not to mention, it's available from launch on Xbox Game Pass, meaning if you already have the service, you can try it for yourself. Though, if you choose to buy separately simply to support the devs, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. On that note, given the excellent and thought-provoking experience I had with the game, Backbone is, to me, worth every dime. A hearty thanks to Eggnut Games and Raw Fury for the review key. The game is linked below, and I'd appreciate if you checked out my Twitter feed while you're down there. Either way, thank you all very much for watching, stay safe, and take it easy.